All right, so we're talking about doing sweep is as a visualization plugin. Um, so you're going to probably want to look in um, the um, where is it? the command line stuff for um, listing records. Python dffml dffml cli uh, list. So here is the list records command. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, so it goes through and it does, it yields everything unless, um, it yields all the records unless you, um, let's see, for sources and sources, yeah, it yields all the records unless you say pretty print them. Um, so you may want to wrap this. Um, yeah, I think you can, you may even be able to like subclass from this. Um, and uh, that way, you would just make the the run loop of this guy be something like you know async for run in super dot run, um, and you'll need to make sure that you set pretty to false because you're not going to have pretty. Um, and then you now you have or let's see async for record. Now you have all the records right here, just like the user would be doing the list command. Um, so you probably want to build an array or a pandas data frame with those, and then and then pass it to sweep is. Um, all right. So um, let's see. Anything else you wanted to talk about um, there? Yeah, that's that's cool. I think uh, as you have given me a right uh, path uh, that how can I start? So I think, uh, let me start first of all, and then uh, cool. if, if I got any kind of uh, issue, then I will definitely- uh, Yeah, just reach out. Yeah. Sweet, sounds good. Cool. All right. Um, uh, Sutanshu, how's it going? Oh yeah, it's going great. How's it going for you? Good. I saw you added a bunch more um, accuracy scores. Uh, yeah, only three, three of them. Okay. Oh well. Oh, I guess when I last saw it, I, I guess this is the. Yeah. So... Okay. <clears throat> oh, one second, actually, real quick. So, um, for the the fact that we have regression of XG boost. But no class bar. Can we add an issue? Um, so can you add an issue to track this? And and how, I just want to make sure that I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, how how did you pronounce your name? Nitesh. Nitesh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nitesh. 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 Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Could you add an issue here um, so that we can track that? That would be great. Okay. All right. Um, so, okay. So, all right. We've got new progress on uh, accuracy scores. All right. So, all right. Um, yeah, I haven't had to take. The chance yes, the so uh, I was actually running into uh, a circular dependency issue. Oh no! But I, uh, but I actually resolved it. Oh yay! Uh, yeah. So yeah. So because of these two imports, I was actually getting that error. So uh, now actually the problem is like I have added the scorer for uh, NER, QA, and classification mm -hmm. of the transformers. But uh, there is also like some issue, like the module is not getting called. Like I'm getting some error with that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look. Yeah. I have created a module out of it. 
So I have also added an init file. Okay, great. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. All right. Um, you want to present and then, oh, I didn't. Oh, remove imports causing circuit. I was like, where did that circular dependency happen? Okay, accuracy, accuracy. Okay, so these were causing a circular dependency. So, yeah. Why were these causing a circular dependency? Was something importing this accuracy file? Uh, I don't know why why that was happening. Hmm, that's interesting. Um. Let's check that out. Let's just let's just look at that first because that's concerning. Um, oops, that's not going to help us. All right, let's see. Oh, from high level model model. Okay. And in model model oh, okay i think this is why it's just this line that needs to be removed um yeah because we're no longer importing and we no longer need it here because uh, i think we removed the accuracy method from that top level model that's probably what was getting us there um so because we do want i mean You know, well, the type hits hints aren't really working right now. The the more we can have, the merrier. Um, yeah, so that yeah, yeah, so that when we do go to implement them, all they still work. Um, so what did you what, what what tests were you running to find that out? Um, like what what tests blew up um, before you did this, so we can run them again and make sure that that fixed it. Uh, so I just ran Python setup.py test, and Python. all of them like. <laughs> they all just exploded. <laughs> yeah. Oops, let's see. Mm, accuracy required. Oh, no, this is that stupid unit test thing. Okay. Um, In the Transformers model, actually, I was uh, running that. Or in the transformers. Okay. So I think. Uh, hmm. yeah, yeah, we'll just go through these just in case. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. Well, let's. All right. Um, so model transformers. Um, Okay. Um, oh. Then transformer is the one that takes a really long time to download. Um, uh, yeah, so we might not run it because like there are also some issues with that also. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So I'm just going to put this, I'm just going to make a note of the fact that um because i don't want to take up too much of our time right now um but yeah. i think that we can replace this commit um we can uh, remove this commit um, and do you know how to do that it is just in case you haven't seen this before but if you do git rebase dash i and then you can you know do head minus head, yes uh, yeah. we can yeah, then you can just drop the commit. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, should be able to replace it with uh, removal of line from 
diff mouse slash model slash model dot pivot. Okay, so we should be able to replace it with the removal of that line. Um, hopefully, I mean, I believe that it will. That looked like the circular dependency to me, so <clears throat> hopefully that gets it. Um, which makes sense because we used to need that. So. All right. Um, okay. So sorry. What, what was the next thing? So uh, the next thing was actually in the transformers model. Yeah. So uh, when we actually like use these scorers, then it is showing that module is not callable. Okay, it's showing that module is not callable. Can you show me and this this one? Can you show me on your? Um, can you present? Actually, I'm not running that uh, right now. Okay. Um, so, let's so see. actually, we can look into uh, into the logs actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, of the see. transformers. Great idea. Object is not called entry point. Yes. So it's complaining about, or let's see, entry point. Yeah, it's complaining about entry point being not callable. Or accuracy, classification accuracy. Hmm. So uh, I was like, my first guess was that maybe like we are taking all that and converting it into an accuracy model that site is not working and in the setup.py i have just done accuracy colon and then i've added the class in the transformer setup.py maybe i think that was okay. the reason. accuracy yeah. this all looks correct um Let's see, how do we test this? I think we can do it like that. Um, let's see. Try this. Okay. Uh, make sure that this loads the right thing. Okay. Okay. So while it's trying to, it tries to. If you try to load this thing, it blows up. Um, okay. So accuracy. So something about loading this file is making it mad. Oh, from dffml.util import entry point. So, yeah, it's dffml.util.entry point import entry point. Um, and I think if you actually just do, uh, this is one of those where you might, uh, might benefit from this type of thing, um, where we can just import them all. Um, that gives us the right thing. Okay, yeah, now it's just going to do that for everyone. All right, so I think, yeah, the the, the main issue here is that we were just importing the wrong uh, version of entry point. Um, so... Does that make sense? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So now I can like do it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's just make sure. Yay! There we go. All right. Yeah. yeah. And it's just um. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's the 
Woods is a file. And I think, yeah, that's good. We've got so many things that need better names, unfortunately. So, um, all right, okay, so let's just call this good, and I won't add this. So, um, so or let's see where it does go. So that was commits wise. You did transformers accuracy ner classification QA. Okay, so I think we're up here too. Was there anything else on that then? Uh, no, that's it. All right, cool. Um, let me just QA in here. And we'll just pop these off here, so. Ah, thank you for doing the commits like this. This is making it so much easier to review and everything. Yeah. Like, oh, it's, it's great. All right, now let's just do diff on this to make sure that everything is correct here, phase five. All right, okay, I think I, all right, I'll push these up. All right, so I believe I just changed those commits. Okay, great, perfect. All right. Looks good. Sweet. Hey, nice progress on this. Um, we were just actually talking about um, we were just actually talking about how XGBoost could benefit from different kinds of accuracy, and I was saying, well, you know, Sutanchu is going <laughs> to he's going to expose that whole framework for doing that. So not only will new accuracy uh, scores be able to apply to XGBoost, but they'd be able to apply to everything if we wrote them. So very exciting. This is getting pretty far along, don't you think? I mean, I think we're closing in on the end of phase five, right? Yes, only one of the scorer is actually remaining in the space even. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll probably need to wrap that up also. Okay, so let's see. Like, do I like need to do that uh, in this phase or? Like, uh, about spacey, like I was thinking maybe I can uh, first like push that thing into master but master yeah, merge does master. not have the scorer thing yeah uh, um so let's see so i mean let's just double check um on uh, let's see okay so let me just capture this um with um Sorry, can you, so can you give me a little more background again on this one? So just to make sure I understand what we're talking about here. So you said spacey. Um, yes, so um, in the spacey model, uh, it actually, the spacey model actually has its own spacey dot scorer thing. Oh yeah. Um, yes, so we actually need to uh, wrap the whole spacey dot scorer module and then like we can use uh, that particular scorer in oh i see menu. oh i see i see what you're saying yeah um so, <clears throat> so but it was using one specifically before right uh yes one or maybe two i think it was using two, two yeah scorers. yeah um let's see 
Yeah, and we've, we've, we've taken it out since then. Okay, yeah, accuracy. Uh, spacing models, okay. So, score, spacey load, uh, score, score. Okay, yeah, um, score, what was score, it must have, it must still be in there, so import something as score, nope, just import score, okay, um, let's see, score, score did score, oh, okay, um, Okay. Mm. Well, yeah, this is a bit interesting because it's like, well, I can't, I'm not seeing, I'm not familiar with this, but you know, what what was he doing with gold parse and stuff? Um, and is that going to need to change? Uh, I mean, who knows? That might be like an argument to the accuracy score. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't messed with this so i don't know um yeah i mean i think at this point if it's just i would just replicate this because this i don't think is i mean this is a pretty the overhead on on you making a new accuracy yeah. score out of this is pretty minimal and then and then it will yeah. be test passing because you know when you go to do that rebase just um it's quite quite often that 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 you yeah you want to have everything going in um as clean as possible because that can get really messy really fast and 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 really confusing about what's breaking um so i think it's probably worth it just to to put in the same body here and, and we can put it to do on that um to look at it further so uh i will have to just create these two scores yeah i mean i would just create i would just say you know spacey score right and then do this and then we can find you know the more specific or more generic role we can just find the more specific name for it later or tweak it later right but just make one called spacey score or something and then you know do sure. do exactly yeah. what this was right we don't need to work it worry about too much um yes right so just as long as we're replicating what we had right then we can change more later Okay, so uh, let's just replicate the function we had. Yeah, and then I mean that'll that yeah the 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 cleaner testing environment we can have going into um, that rebase, the uh, the happier we're gonna be. Um, yeah, I'm wondering what the hell's going on here. This is this other stupid unit test thing. Um, yeah, I hate this. I think we've all run into this at this point. This is just, no, it's like you change something and then all of a sudden unit yeah. test decides to, it's a test case. Um, yeah, we will be fixing that in the next pages. Yeah, yeah. We're, I think what we also want to do is, um, we may want to just switch the, because you know what I, I just saw is that, where was this? When I ran the tests, yeah, like this with unit test dash V, it didn't it didn't seem to blow up in that way. I mean, who knows? Maybe it did. Um, there were a bunch of things that were, yeah. Okay, none of those errors look like related to that, which we're gonna have to change it to say run it that way um, in the Python three to support Python 3.9 anyways, um, because they apparently are removing the uh, setup.py test way of doing it. So if this ends up still being an issue at the end of the rebase, we're, we'll just we'll just switch the docs to say that since we have to do that at some point anyways. Um, I think I already just removed the test requires stuff and everything. And so we should be, we should be ready to do that. Um, okay, uh, anything else on that? Oh, uh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, how's it going, Sekshom? 
Oh, hi, John. How are you? Good. I saw you. Uh, I saw, where did that go? Why does it keep scrolling all the way up? Okay. I just saw your pull request. I've opened two pull requests. One is yeah. for the documentation change uh, oh, for sweet. the neural network. And the second is for the maximum context. All right. Sweet. Ah, very exciting. Okay. Um, all right. So this stuff here, um, the context. Yes. Yeah, so I, I thought I'm name. not able to build the docs. And I later saw that the code block thing was showing. Uh, I'm not able to see how it, it looks in the documentation. So you're not is able this to. How it looks? All right, so let's, yeah, let's just build the docs. Um, I'm getting that error of dfml.args. Yeah, that's weird. Um, let's see. See, my guess is that has to do, did I tell you that? Let's see, what did I say? Yeah, I, I think it has to do with that, because that'd be really weird. Well, we'll, well, let's just look at the changes here. None of this should introduce that issue. Um, yeah, none of this should introduce that type of issue. Um, dffml.args. Yeah, that's really weird. Um, Yeah, nothing with args. Okay, well, let's try to build it. thing is also like this is CI say that um, no okay so yeah it's got to be a local issue um, let's check it out though um, uh, <clears throat> oops Yeah, it was this guy, right? Uh, it's in tutorials. Oh, in tutorials. Oh, the neural network tutorial. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. And the first change was in that C also block. Where is that C also block? Model.yaml. Okay, and there were some changes here. Yeah, you added some more. Fully connected layer. Image dimensions after block four. This linear layer only accepts 1D tensors, 2D frames. We need to change the shape of the incoming tensor, flatten it. So we use Twitch's view property, which will change the incoming tensor size too. All right. Which is what the linear frames are. Okay. We still don't say what negative one means though. I'm just right, I'm just, I'm assuming we were saying But that's for the batch size. We don't know what the user is entering for the batch size. Okay, so that says do whatever the batch size should be? Uh, yeah, just leave the first dimension which is the batch size. Okay. Um, I'll add Yeah, let's 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 do that. Um but otherwise this is looking great um okay that's weird though okay so i think i mean i think you've definitely got an install issue um i would look at 
Um, nice, nice. Model black armor. Is it is it a little more clear clearer yes, now? Yes, much more clear. Yeah. So, blockhorn.conf one. We're using a single layer inside another sequential layer. Block one, block two, block three. Block one.com one, block two dot max pooling. Okay, That's so you're the just thing saying. I did with the operator okay. dot at ah, I see, I see. So basically, you can say, is this going to reference the same layer or is it going to just, is it going to create another instance of it? Uh, it's gonna reference the same layer. Okay, I think. it's gonna reference the same layer. Okay. Um, nice. Very nice. All right. Um, cool. Great. Yeah. So let's just make sure that we get that negative one in there. Um, and then I think. All right. And thanks for commenting more. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, Yash was saying that he tried to read and he yeah, saw we're... there was a lack of comments. Yeah, and I was like, I want, I wanted to get around this, so I was like, let's get around it in this pull request only. Yep, yep. There you go. That's the way to do it. Um, let's see. So, uh, okay, great. Um, okay, you got that. You got that. Let's just check these. Okay, so we'll just, I'll just. I'm just Anything else you want to talk about, Saksham? Uh, no, I'll just solve my local issue. For okay, the... Yeah, I would try to uninstall every every DFML package, and I think that I think that DFML version. Yeah, so there's nothing that just gives you a nice sort of list, except for this is the closest thing. Um, and I don't know if this does should I too, but if, I would just do you know. Uh, let's see, yeah, and then uh, Python dash M uninstall dash Y. Yeah, this basically would be the best way to uninstall all of them. Um, so I'll just paste that in the chat. Okay. All right, so let me just make note of this. Um, so pull requests for and max context. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, and then with the, oh, issue building docs um so this is probably an install issue um let's try uh did you happen to run through the model tutorial or something by chance because if you ran you know the install commands then it might have mm, no ah, i don't know pip is weird all right probably an install issue let's try uninstalling all packages and reinstalling. Okay, um, put this here as well. Okay, I'll try that. All right. Okay. Anybody got anything else they want to talk about today? All right. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Actually, I have also made a two pull request. Okay. Let's see. And the awaiting changes. I think the yeah that. Okay. Oh, okay. Great. So you changed this. Okay. Um, let's see. Here, initially, we are getting an error in a test case, but uh, oh, I yeah. made a change. That's the. All right. Okay. Perfect. 
Yeah, okay, and yeah, and then I was waiting for Sakshom to give it a look because Sakshom had written this initially. All right, great, we'll merge this. Um, let's see. Uh, I think these were all um, Conda download failures. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. these were Conda issues. Yeah. Or the team printed ones. And there, uh, I'm getting a style error in that code. Is there any improvement I can do? Uh, so, <coughs> sorry. Um, so I think the thing is, um, well, it's not in the CI, right? So the thing is that the auto formatter that we use, black, um, mm -hmm. it needs to be installed to a specific version. And that version is document. It's in the setup file. And I think it's documented in the um, contributing docs as well. But the thing is I that- it's getting the issue in the loss one, the loss function pull request. He hasn't formatted that. Oh, you just need to format it, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, you probably just need to run the auto formatter then. Um, yeah, and it's probably this line. I would guess that if you just added that in this line, it would work. Yeah, so um, let's see. Yes, this looks good. I think it's just because you need another line here. You need another blank line, and then you need to uh, to add back this line. Um, but if you run that black auto formatter, it will do it for you. Um, now, mm -hmm. let's see, style. So yeah, here it is. This is what you're looking for. Um, because they basically they don't guarantee that the formatter is going to produce the same results between versions, and so uh, well, it's sort of sort of the point. Um, but at the time we formatted it, it was on that version, um, and uh, if we move to the latest version, then we have to reformat all the code, which creates a giant reformat commit. Um, so I'm not sure we're going to do that anytime soon, at least maybe before the beta. Um, all right, okay, so style. Issue on PRs. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Okay. So, and I, I'm going to merge all these PRs. So, I think this one you just need to run black. Other than that, this looks good. Um, and, oh, I yeah. don't think you need this pass line here. Um, let's see. Cool. Very nice. All right. Well, I will uh, talk to you guys all um, next week, or I'll talk to you on Gitter. And I uh, hope you guys have a great week, and good luck with any exams, if anybody has exams. So. Uh, thank you. All right. Thank you all. Yeah, the exam is going on. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, thank have a good one. Okay, bye. Bye.